Colleagues, I rise today on behalf of my office and the people of the 39th Senate District to recognize my Chief of Staff, my friend, my advisor, Nick Hardeman. This week is Nick's last week in the Senate, and as much as he wanted to quietly slip out of the chamber door, I couldn't let that happen given the incredible role that he has played especially in the Senate these last six years. Nick is joined this morning by his wife, Katie Hardeman, their children, Alex and Damien, his mother, Marina Hardeman, and his brother, Greg Hardeman. And if you look around, I see that many of his colleagues and good friends have joined us on the floor, in the back, and in the gallery. Uh, to Katie and to Marina, Greg, Alex, and Damien, I want to thank you for sharing Nick with us and for your sacrifices as he has served 24 hours a day, seven days a week as chief of staff for me, particularly these last six years. Nick has served the people of California through his work in the state legislature for over two decades. I don't think it's an overstatement to say that everyone in this room has worked with Nick and experienced his dedication and his positive attitude. Nick grew up in San Francisco in a labor household. He was bit by the political bug at a young age, spearheading a living wage initiative when he attended St. Mary's College. He also played rugby in college, which he credits as excellent training for campaigns and legislative work. Nick first came to Sacramento as a Senate fellow for then Senator Richard Alarcon. He stayed on as a consultant with the Senate Labor Committee before moving to the Assembly to work as communications and legislative director for then uh, Assembly member Fiona Ma, treasurer, who is here with us today. Thank you, Treasurer Ma, for being here. He went on to be Assembly Member uh, Ma's Chief of Staff before joining Speaker John A. Perez's office to focus on labor issues. And the Speaker is with us today as well. Thank you, Speaker Perez, for being here to celebrate Nick. When I became Speaker, I got to work with Nick more closely. I was impressed by his limitless passion for the work and how he always kept a level head, even in the most challenging situations. I lobbied Nick hard with the help of my spouse for him to be my chief of staff when I came to the Senate. When I was elected in 2016, he did come with me. When I was selected to be pro tem, Nick stepped up and provided support, not just for me, but for all of the members in this chamber. He acted as negotiator, a support system, a moral compass, and as the glue that has kept my team and this institution moving forward. We encountered tremendous challenges during our time in leadership, including the COVID-19 pandemic. But Nick's work ethic and dedication to decorum never wavered. Overall, I would say three personal things. One, I am sure that I got three votes to become pro tem entirely because of Nick Hardeman. Two, Nick is a San Franciscan through and through, 49ers all the way, and one of my uh, highest honors is to be able to see that great city through his eyes. Three, I talked about him being level-headed and calm. The minute I heard Nick in a very quiet voice say, oh my, I knew we were in trouble. <laughs> but four, at the heart of everything, Nick is a public servant. And I have appreciated uh, the opportunity uh, to work with him. He strived to ensure the Senate and its staff work together with efficiency, courtesy, and respect. He's been a strong advocate for equity, and he never forgets about the underdog. And most importantly, he believes greatly in supporting and mentoring staff. And I know that my office and the Senate have benefited because of it. I'm happy to say that Nick will not be leaving the state service completely. Tomorrow, he will travel to Oakland for his very first meeting as the inaugural chair of the California Fast Food Council. Governor, you're welcome. <laughs> Nick, I, of course, and all of us want to wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. It has been an incredible honor and a joy to have you as my chief of staff. I am proud of what we have all achieved together, and I look forward to seeing all of your accomplishments in the next stage of your career. Colleagues, Please join me in thanking Nick Hardeman for his service to the Senate, the Capitol community, and the people of California. <laughs>